All right, welcome, welcome to the first dot point for Ecosystems at Risk. Uh, in these series of videos, I'm going to go through each of the dot points, point out the different components within that dot point that you'll need to understand and need to be aware of. Um, these will be used in conjunction with your notes and I guess used as just reminders of what each of the dot points are. So let's get started. So the first dot point, biophysical interactions, which lead to diverse ecosystems and their functioning. There are three parts that we need to be aware of here. Biophysical interactions, diverse ecosystems, and functioning. You could take this dot point and start looking at, uh, at any of them really first because they're all interacted. There's a bit of a cycle really, isn't there? And, you know, biophysical interactions are, or create diverse ecosystems and these diverse ecosystems all function, um, you know, in different ways. Um, more, you know, the biophysical interactions you know, lead to different functioning and that functioning also then has an impact on the diversity of the ecosystems. Um, so a good student here will be able to understand all these three um, components and be able to talk about the interactions uh, within them. Let's get started. There are many different uh, definitions for ecosystems um, you can there's not really a right or a wrong one um, this is an e this is a definition that I've found which I really like I like it because it actually links in very much with this dot point and with it, with further dot points um, it is a long def it's a longer definition um, but if you can know this definition for ecosystems especially you know the unit being ecosystems at risk I always find that um, yeah, you know, it, it can really set up a, a really strong paragraph, a really strong response. Um, basically, ecosystems are systems through which incoming solar energy, so with that there, we're going to be starting to talk about energy flows, moves through hierarchy of life forms, energy flows again. Interactions, obviously the interaction part of the, uh, part of the dot point, and then we talk about here the four spheres, which is also the... Um, the biophysical interaction so it's a really good definition I like this one I would encourage all my, all my students to you know if not not uh, word for word be able to very uh, succinctly summarize that so let's get started biophysical interactions um, which is the first thing that I've circled in the dot point really refers to a good understanding of the four spheres the hydrosphere the biosphere the lithosphere and the atmosphere understanding different processes uh, within each of the spheres and also how these processes interact with all the other spheres and then also create and lead to uh, diverse um, diverse ecosystems um, and we'll look at biomes in a moment. The other interactions that you do have to be aware of is the interactions within the food chain and then the interactions within the cycle. This links, um, this will link to functioning which we'll talk about uh, in, in a few moments time. When we think of diverse ecosystems, there are many ways that we can think about diverse ecosystems, but the biomes, I think, is one of the best ways to look at it. You don't need to be aware of every single biome, but you should be able to um, certainly identify a handful of biomes, identify their major features, and also be able to identify how some biomes exist, and then also what the why they exist maybe due to some interactions within the atmosphere and the hydrosphere. Um, so, for example, you might be able to talk about like the desert biomes and then the the fact that in the desert biome, you, you, you'd sort of mention things like you know, them re receiving low precipitation, that they might have, you know, um, high temperature, you know, as a result of their latitude. Um, or you might talk about, um, you know, deserts that sit in rain shadows as a result of, um, the lithosphere interaction. So you should be able to talk about these diverse ecosystems and then link them to the, um, to the four spheres. Brings us to the last point on functioning. And what is functioning? Functioning there, um, I quite like this, the ability of an ecosystem to capture, store and transfer energy. Um, and it links back to that definition on ecosystems, um, the capturing of solar, ra solar radiation and, uh, through, through the hierarchy of life forms. There's two types of functioning, cycles and energy flows. With energy cycles, we tend to talk about things like cut the carbon cycle, nutrient cycle, 
Um, there are plenty of different soccers. You certainly don't need to know them all. Um, but you would need, I, w- I would always recommend that you were able to, you know, draw diagrams of a handful of the cycles and have a very good understanding of a handful of the of the cycles. Um, and energy flows, food webs and food chains. Being able to understand how energy moves through the um, through an ecosystem. So that brings us to the end of that first dot point. I've put here a picture here of, um, incidentally, of Brad Pitt sitting in a mountain landscape, in a, the mountain biome, the alpine biome. And you could th- maybe think about here in a biome like the mountain uh, or alpine, you know, how the four spheres interact to create that landscape and then therefore have an impact on the diverse ecosystem and how then that ecosystem of the alpine uh, functions. You should be able to then do that with a whole lot of the other ones, um, but you know, I, I quite like that picture anyway. All right, that brings us to the end. Um, look, hopefully you can use this video as a way just to refresh your understanding of that dot point and all good responses if there are if you're asked about this should be able to integrate then the um, the different terms definitions the 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 understanding of the next dot points that are going to come up all right thanks for that bye